my gosh, it is Sonia Morgan and Keith Hernandez. <laughs> Behind the bar, it is Ryan with Aldi Rose. It's just, it is the beginning of rose season. Is there anything better, Sonia? No. No. Well, no. yes. No, there isn't. <laughs> oh, you, you mean sitting next to Keith Hernandez? Yes. Yeah, sitting next uh, to Keith Hernandez. Keith's is great. book is called Keith Hernandez, A Memoir Out. Now, this is, is this your fourth book? Fifth. Fifth I book. did a children's book. Wow, right. oh, you did? I did. He signed a ball for you, $400. Yes. 600 for the book. Okay, thank 600? you. 600? Wow. 6,000. amazing. I'm the manager. Let's go back to the phones. Call her, what's your name, I'm and where are you together. calling? I'll set you up with Luann, too. Okay. 10,000. Hey, caller. Uh, my name's Todd. I'm from Virginia Second Beach, Virginia. Virginia. Hey, man, what's your question? Hey, I got a question for Keith. I know baseball players are notorious for pranks. So what was the best prank you ever pulled in the clubhouse? Uh, the best prank I ever experienced uh, was in Dodger Stadium. Roger McDowell, who was a big uh, class clown, we were struggling offensively for like a, on 10 games. And during the national anthem, he, it was all like 4th of July, he had like a bunch of packs of firecrackers in the middle of the, he put them all together and he put them in our bat rack with all our bats oh my god no and they all went off like artillery fire oh my, in my god in the middle of the world sir that's wow. ridiculous and that was fun wow <laughs> you could not do that today yes you could could you Why i don't think you? so wow. i don't think you get away with that everything is so it's okay to drink illegal. Right. yes oh. absolutely <laughs> uh, back to the phones call her what's your the name money you where get are you found calling you remember your face <laughs> Hey, hey Andy, hey. this is Natalie from New York. Hey, Natalie, Selfie. what's your question? Love you. My question is for Sonia. I know that you've made a few appearances on Countess and Friends, and I wanted to see if you see yourself getting into the entertainment industry, recording music, Broadway, cabaret, et cetera. Well, I'm loving my time with Luann, and I don't really have a choice because, you know, she's the boss of me. She's like, Sonia, here's your dates. You're doing it with me. And, you know, I did the off Broadway. I did the um, sex tips for straight women by a gay man. Right. Loved that. But really, I'm just enjoying my time with Luann right now. Back to, hey, by the way, control room, Rocco, if you have a question for Keith Hernandez, just say it over the PA. Just tell me in my ear when you're ready. Uh, our director is a huge Mets fan. Yeah, he's a uh, Back to the phones. Call her. What's your name, and From where are you calling? How are you doing? My name is Giselle. I'm calling from Queens, New York. Hey, what's your question? Uh, my question is for Mr. Hernandez. Okay. Do you prefer sex before or after a game? Good question. <laughs> It depends if it's a day or a night game. Mm -hmm. really? <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. Good answer, right, Sonia? Yeah, you need a little time to get it up again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the bat. Double header, right, Sonia? Yeah, yeah, Double the, bat, header. the bat. I meant the uh, bat. Back to the phones. <laughs> Call her. What's your name, and from where are you calling? Holly from Albertian. Hi, what's your question? Well, I just wanted to know if Keith has ever hooked up with a, a fan after a game. And also, shout out for Sonia. I love your messy house. It's cool. She loves your messy house. It's cool. She oh, yeah, yeah. It's a home. I, I live there. I have kids, and I have 20 kids sleeping over from the boarding school. Yeah. Uh, Keith, have you ever hooked away. up with a fan? I mean. There's hope for everyone. Uh, <laughs> certainly. Yes. I mean, yes. That's why you he's go baseball into baseball. Player. Yeah. He's a baseball Hello? Player. Yeah. It's called the game of baseball. Yeah. yeah. What's your best memory of being in St. Louis? Best memory? Yeah. Oh. Best memory, obviously, is the 82 World Championship. Yeah. The Cardinals hadn't won since 67. Yeah. You know that. Well, yeah. he's from St. Louis, so right. you have yeah, to say St. Louis. Okay. I see your Cardinal hat. I was there. at the game. Keith signed my Cardinal Yeah, but can we too. get everything over here, all the Cardinal stuff? Why? So he can sign it all? <laughs> so I can jack it up? I'm yeah. racking it up over here. I know you are. <laughs> I'm the manager. Uh, <laughs> how long were you on the Cardinals? Uh, eight and a half years. Eight and a half years. I was up when I was 20. Wow. Wow. When I was traded in 83. And then you really, was the Mets Cardinals rivalry wasn't because happening. you went to the Mets, were well, we so? Because we were so, we couldn't believe it. Well, the Mets were a last place team. Yeah. When I was traded there. Yes. Perennial last yes. place team. And you brought. And we them. turned it around. Yeah. And it was not just me. It was a lot of. We had a lot of great talent. Yeah. But then, because St. Louis was so good, it became the rival. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For four years, it was either us or them. Yeah. Our director Rocco has a question for Keith Hernandez. Rocco, what's your question? Hey, Keith. How are you? Good. Ready for it? Take four. Thank you. Uh, so, Keith, um, 
all this stuff that's going on with Matt Harvey, I'm sure that you've uh, experienced a lot with his agent, Scott Boris. Did you talk to Scott about Matt Harvey at all? Uh, I did a long time ago when Matt was taking, uh, was a, a, a Muppets taking Manhattan. He was going to be, uh, before the, he put the cart before the horse, I felt. He had great stuff. Um, and I did, Scott's a very dear friend. Uh, he was a, my last agent, a very good friend of my brother. And I called Scott and said, Scott, I think Matt needs to focus. He's going to make things a lot more difficult on himself with all this publicity and go doing what he wanted to do, which really he wanted to be like Joe Namath uh -huh. and before he won the Super Bowl. Right. So, uh, yes, I did uh, try to, to get Scott, but, you know, Matt is his own guy, and um, he'll be fine. Do you think that there is a chance that on, on – remind me, by the way, did he go to Detroit? No, he went to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So do you think there's a chance that he could now focus in a smaller uh, – smaller town on the game more and not on dating models and the whole thing? Well, I think that uh, he's going to pitch every day there as long as he's healthy. He's had serious surgeries. He's right, had two right. bad, bad oh, wow. serious mm -hmm. arm surgeries. Right. Mm -hmm. So he has to come back from that. We don't know if he will. But he's going to have a chance to pitch. I think it's better for him to be in Cincinnati or somewhere else yeah. than in New York. <laughs> Do you think that there is a chance that he would ever date Sonia? No, come on, we're being serious here, Andy. I know. <laughs> Two injuries, everyone's on the edge of their seat, and you're gonna go there? I know. <laughs> no, but I have a question. Can you tell everyone what you're doing now with the Mets and the 100 games and all that? So oh, everyone I'm doing knows TV, I do, uh, I'm, I'm an analyst for this. I, I'm on, the, broad, the network is SNY, and I've been doing it for 20 years. And not only that, Sonia, he joined Twitter. I did. And he uh, he is everyone, is, everyone is loving Keith Hernandez You're on loving Twitter. my cat, Haji. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Tweets about you know his what? cat all the time. My cat, Haji. Sonia, do you You're like... a cat guy? I just gave my cat away to a guy from Hell's Kitchen, but he's on the road. He's modeling. <laughs> like Tinsley. I was holding my cat back. Yeah. Now my cat's on the road doing modeling. But you have a cat. I have a poodle. You'd... But anyway, you're into Luann. It's okay. I'm going to hook you up with Luann. <laughs> he's got to come to Cabaret. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I can be talked out of it. Oh, he's a player. <laughs> <laughs> That's the emoji. You know the emoji? Yeah. yeah. That was me. Yeah. That was based on me. Was... No, no. I will hook you up with Luann, and we'll go to Cabaret together, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. We've done that a few times, Luann and I. Yeah, no, no, no we'll doubt. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, it's a toss up. You, well, you toss never up know until you leave don't boutique. Don't mention yeah. Tom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can never know your... until you leave what boutique. What do you want to see? Can I see your bathing suit again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as I can, I just came off Bali. I know you're and just Dubai. back. I know, and you're wearing the that bathing suit. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank Sonia Morgan, Keith Hernandez, and Ryan for work at TheRumbellaTV.com. Good night, everybody. Amazing. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here, and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.